There's already saying some changes need to be made to that bill. If you want to see where the breakdown of votes comes and where that falls for our local lawmakers, I have just posted that to my KNBC Facebook page. Right now, there are more than 350,000 Kansans and Missourians enrolled in the current health care plan. Many of them have pre-existing conditions. As Michael Mahoney reports, that coverage might change. Leslie Galloway was in front of Republican Congressman Kevin Yoder's office today in Johnson County as the vote was going on. She says she's here for her three-year-old granddaughter, Trig, who has cancer. And we're terrified about this whole pre-existing condition thing because I don't think that the Republican plan is going to work in her behalf. The House-approved plan would let states opt out of the Obama rules for dealing with pre-existing conditions, including charging pre-existing condition clients more for coverage. Now, both Missouri and Kansas had high-risk health insurance pools before Obamacare, and that's now an option in a new plan. At the time that Missouri had a high-risk pool, uh, it was very expensive, very few participants in it, uh, and I think that is some of the concerns that people see moving forward. I think there was pretty wide sense, widespread sense that they didn't work. Um, they were surprisingly underused in states because they were also very, very expensive for states to offer and maintain. In a statement after the vote, Congressman Yoder pledged no one with a pre-existing condition can or will be denied coverage. Right now, a Butler, Missouri 